Introduction Hello, and welcome to our video on the inverting amplifier. In this video, we'll explore the concept of an inverting amplifier and how it works. To help us understand better, we will also demonstrate a simulation of an inverting amplifier using a circuit simulator. Explanation So, what exactly is an inverting amplifier? Well, an inverting amplifier is a basic operational amplifier, op-amp, configuration that produces an output signal that is the inverse, or opposite, of the input signal. This configuration is commonly used in various electronic circuits and signal processing applications. Now, let's take a look at the circuit simulator to visualize how the inverting amplifier works. In our simulation, we have an operational amplifier, op-amp, represented by a triangle symbol, and a few external components. Op-amp input pins. The op-amp has two input pins, the inverting input, and the non-inverting input, plus. In the inverting amplifier configuration, we connect our input signal to the inverting input, dot. Feedback resistor, RF. To create the negative feedback necessary for an inverting amplifier, we connect a resistor called the feedback resistor, RF, between the output and the inverting input of the op-amp. The other end of the feedback resistor is connected to the output pin of the op-amp. Input resistor, R1. To complete the circuit, we connect an input resistor, R1, between the inverting input and the ground, 0V, reference. Operation. Here's how the inverting amplifier circuit operates. When we apply an input voltage to the inverting input of the op-amp, the op-amp amplifies this signal and produces an output voltage. The gain of the inverting amplifier is determined by the ratio of the feedback resistor, RF, to the input resistor, R1. The crucial feature of the inverting amplifier is that the output voltage is an inverted, amplified version of the input voltage. This inversion occurs due to the negative feedback provided by the feedback resistor, RF, connected between the output and the inverting input of the op-amp. For example, if we apply a positive voltage at the inverting input, the op-amp will produce an output voltage that is the negative of the input voltage, but amplified based on the gain set by the resistors. Similarly, a negative input voltage will result in a positive, amplified output voltage. Conclusion the inverting amplifier is a fundamental building block in electronics and provides us with the ability to amplify and invert signals. By using the circuit simulator, we were able to visualize how the inverting amplifier configuration works, understanding the role of the op-amp, the feedback resistor, and the input resistor. I hope this demonstration has helped you understand the concept of an inverting amplifier. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos on electronic circuits and signal processing.